this one's really going to be a really quick screencast just to show you um, the admin panel of a course. So if we were to, to look at a course like we've got here, this one here I was just building up um, to put resources on for yourself. Um, so if we just go down the page and look in the course administration panel, every course has got one of these unless a teacher or a lecturer has taken one off. Um, hopefully they should all be there. Um, but there are some main settings that you want to look at, such as turn editing on, edit settings, um, your users there. If you've enrolled yourself on a course by accident, you can unenroll yourself again. Um, and then you go to some more, the more advanced areas of the admin panel, filters, reports, grades. Once you get into the hang of how your course works, you can then look at um, grading and, and looking at the reports there. Um, I've done some, also done some, a couple of screen sh uh, screencasts, if you like, to to look at backup and restore, and you'll find them on the on the channel as well. Um, we'll do one for import at some point, and I'll also show you how to you can publish a course for use in a in another Moodle environment. Um, but for now, we'll just look at these top few. I'm gonna just scroll up a little bit. We've got turn editing on, and you've also got turn editing on up in the top right of the screen, this little green button here. And when you do that, it doesn't matter which one you pick, you'll see your screen flick over to editing mode and then um, it'll have a few more buttons on there in, in order for you to add activities, resources, edit blocks down the page. So let's have a look at this page here. Um, I've got text that I've already put in. Now, if I, that wasn't in there, it would just be there'd be nothing there, it would just be a white white area with this gear icon underneath. Now if I click that um, and write in the area um, that it provides me, which incidentally is called a HTML editor, this area here, I'm actually creating HTML content that is in your course. It's better to have HTML content than than putting up Word documents and PowerPoint presentations into your course um, because you can start to make other activities and resources work for you in your course. So I'm not going to change that. If I wanted to, I could just write in there and use some of the buttons up here to add links, etc. in there. But we go to we go more in depth in there um, in other tutorials. So I'm just going to save the changes even though I haven't made any. I'm let the page refresh. Uh, and then we'll look at this button here which is add an activity resource and this is where you can add various activities into a Moodle course and you can actually add resources in as well so you can add books, files, folders, labels, pages um, but we'll go into more of those in, in other screencasts now back to the course administration panel if I wanted to add more of these down the left hand side of my course I've got 10 topics down or if even indeed I wanted to change my topics to weeklies I can by going in edit settings so if I edit the settings then that enables me to turn the visibility on and off it enables me to change the start date of the course it enables me to change the full name short name Etc. Put in a course summary if I if I want to. Um, now, if I look at course format, I can change topics to weeklies. Or I can change them to social, collapsed, etc. In there. Now, really, you just want to play around. The main, the two main ones most people have are topics and weeklies. I like topics. It makes more sense to me to have it. If you want to change and add more blocks down the page, then you can do. You can go all the way up to 52 down the bottom. I'll just cancel out of that one because I don't want to make any changes and we'll see what else we've got in the course administration panel. Well, another important part of the course administration panel is the users area and you'll notice I clicked on the little chevron there that enables me to see other options underneath it such as enrolled users and enrolled methods now this particular course hasn't got a teacher enrollment method on there 
enabling someone to self-enrol as a teacher and give themselves admin rights like other courses have. Now if I just look at enrolled users for now, I can see who's on this course as a student, a teacher, a non-editing teacher, as it happens there's just me on there. Now if, if this course has been built automatically from Pro Markbook, you'll see your students sitting in here. No courses should be on Moodle if they haven't got enrolments on that. I'm just going to click the breadcrumb at the top just to come back to my course. And we'll scroll down a little bit um, and we'll look down a little bit further. Now we'll look at more in depth parts to Moodle as we go along, um, but there's really only a few there that you can go, you really need to go in and out of. Um, I'm